I'm Phil. I'm Deeb. And welcome to our quick review of Glen Geary or something like that. Not Glen Gary <laughs> Although if you want to buy it and you're asking for Glen Gary that will be just fine. But Glen Geary, according to Ralphie. Um, it's a 12 year Highland. Full strength at 48. You can start nosing, but don't say anything yet. And following on from the idea of blenders watering down whiskey, actually this one already had some water in because we were tasting earlier. I think the idea of watering down whiskey a lot for the purpose of exploring is to like really separate, separate out the flavors. Okay. Glengarry 12 year old, it's a Highland malt. We paid $60 uh, back in, wow, November 2008. <laughs> and we bought it from k &L in San Francisco. It is a mix of cask types. It doesn't give us too much information. It just says bourbon and sherry casks. <laughs> if we presume the sherry casks are European oak, you would expect to get something a little more spicy. But of course, sherry casks can also be American oak, which is a bit confusing, isn't it? Uh, what are you getting on the nose? Getting some sherry mint oak. Yeah, it is. It's, I mean, there is obvious sherry notes, but there's something green and minty on mm. top, isn't there? Like green leaves and then the oakiness. And now uh, I'm getting a dust of... Very sad, a vanilla. A little bit of vanilla. Well, the vanilla should be from the, the bourbon side mm -hmm. of things. Now, I'm not getting any sulfur or any smoke at all. Just knows the watered down one. Is it any different from, you know, the glass? Oh, it's slightly more tropical, this one. I uh, hear I'm getting more green leaves. Yeah, more green than this, and this is a bit more sweet, almost mango pineapple. But kind of green, unripe versions. Okay, let's, let's taste... Oh, go on. Earthy marmalade. Earthy marmalade. Is it funky at all? It's a little bit. It's certainly not sulfury, but there is something doesn't come across as being super sweet or mainstream. It seems a little bit off the path, doesn't it? Off the standard path. A little dusty. Let's try the watered down one. We were tasting this earlier, so there's probably, this is probably 30% ABV now. Not that this is the best way to enjoy it, but it helps separate out mm -hmm. the flavors. Wow, that's quite green for me. Mm. Green leaves in a way which is a bit challenging. I have sort of an uh, oaky orange. Yeah, oaky orange. But it's very light. It's like, well, that was light. There's a lot of water in there, but you know, even in that watered down version, I actually get quite a bit of spicy pepper oh, heat. Oh, yeah, pepper. Um, sort of pepper heat green leaves wrapped around a bit of uh, orangey, oranginess. Okay, let's, let's jump to full strength and see how much, see what happens. Right, 48%. Mmm. That's good. I'm getting yummy sweetness. Yeah, the sweetness is stronger, but that pepper heat, ooh, that's quite building, isn't it? But it's not for me. Not for me. I'm still sitting there, but I'm a bit of a baby with pepper heat. But it's a beautiful finish. It's fine fading heat. Yeah, fine fading heat. And there's something that is a little towards the bitter side, licorice maybe. Nice. But it's still sitting there. All right, ready for comparisons. Mm. 
We tried to pick two 12 year olds, which have some kind of similarities. Glenallachy 12 and Balvini 12. And these are similar in as much as the Balvini is also double cask, ex-bourbon and sherry. And this is European sherry, only 43%. Is it similar or very different? If this is green and slightly orangey, touch of pineapple, this to me is quite chocolate. Oh, you're supposed to know. <laughs> Like it's more chocolate. Okay, now have a taste. So the Balvini is more on the chocolate side of things compared compared to this. So it seems like more uh, confectionery. This part it's sort of more um, thick. Mm. Woody, more woody, but nice. More stuff. woody. It's sort of chocolate powder and woodiness, isn't it? And it's, it's, it's a bit buttery. Yeah, forty-three percent ABV. A bit more approachable than the Glengarry though, isn't it? A bit of a chocolate finish. But this is more sweet. Yeah. Sweeter, but with green leaves. <laughs> That's a funny combination. Okay. Uh, Glenallachy, 12. It's not ex-bourbon. It's virgin oak and PX and Oloroso. So who knows what type of barrels, but let's presume there's some European sherry oak in here as well. Hmm. Now, well, that's quite nice. We haven't had it for a little while. It's, it's not big. It's, Complex. Uh, if it is apple at the same time, it's sort of alive. A bit more integrated. I, I, I prefer that, the best of all three. Now, if this is slightly chocolatey, I would say this is slightly pineapple-y now. Yes. This is more sort of pineapple sweet. Pineapple sweet, mild pepper, I no chocolate. Uh, a tannic, a darkness. All right, let's... Let's focus on Glen, Glen Gary. Back to Glen Gary, okay. Wow, more powerful. The 48 ABV makes a difference. If you want something that's a bit more off the track, a bit more green, a bit more of a a uh, change, I would say a change. This is quite a contrast to and, more and mainstream. Finish. Nice. Okay, in terms of score, well, those three. See, we had originally had Glengarry down here. Now you're saying that you would prefer Glenallachy and actually Balvinny. Oh, I'd rather spot. <laughs> you want to push Glenallachy up? Yes. Is it that much better? Yes. I don't know if it's that much better. Where is it? Where's it gone? Now it's turned into a Glenallachy review. Um, I'll pull Glen. Glen. No. Balvini is slipping down, isn't it? Mm. Do you prefer Glenallachy above Glengarry? Yes. Maybe about here. And then we're going to put Balvini down here. Yes. <laughs> well, that's a turn up. Do we want to give Glengarry a score? Uh, 89. Yeah. I think it's 86 on one day. And then if you really want that difference, then you might just pop it up to 89. I'll put them again. Give it for maybe 88. <laughs> 